Hello everybody, welcome to this PC Computer Guy Tech Talk video tip. Um, I am using Windows 8 here. I have another video on Windows 8 that you've probably seen before. So here's my Windows 8 interface. Um, a lot of people, including myself, really, really, really do not like it. It's kind of kludgy, bipolar, schizophrenic, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's really just kind of like two operating systems merged into one. <clears throat> so, um, all complaints aside, there is something you can do to fix it and make it a lot better. So I'm going to show you what to do now. What we can do is kind of disable or partially disable this thing right here and uh, get our regular um, kind of start button back. You do have to pay for it. It's five bucks, but it's well worth it. Um, I'm going to go to the desktop here by hitting Windows D to bring up my normal web browsers. I'm going to open a new window here. <laughs> and if we go to download.com, This is where I'm going to get it from. Um, I'm going to search for a program called Start8. S-T-R-T, the number 8. You can get it directly from their website if you decide you want to purchase it. I'm doing it this way to get the uh, trial version. Um, so right here, Start8. And we're going to go ahead and do the download now. So what this is, is basically a third-party program. It's not from Microsoft. It's a third-party program that kind of restores your start button. It's not the Microsoft start button, but it's very similar. I'm going to click on it to launch it down here. Say yes to the prompt. Go ahead and minimize this guy right here. And we agree. Next. You see the installation is pretty quick. Then it's gonna tell me about customizing it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the try. Um, you can do the purchase if you decide you like it. It's gonna ask what kind of um, format I would like. I'm just gonna use the default theme for now, but you can change things um, so that the uh, icons look a little bit different. You can actually choose your own. There's quite a bit of customization that you can do in here. Um, the different tools that you used to have in the past, such as my computer, is displayed as a link. Control panel display is link. Um, I like the administrative items for myself personally. I'm a computer guy. Uh, scrolling down here, uh, default programs I don't care about. Downloads, I do like it to show. So display as link. If you're not sure what the stuff is, you can just choose the default settings. You can change them later. It's no problem. Um, and games I don't really care about, so I will say don't display, help and support, don't care about. And that, that's good. Actually, I like my network stuff to be shown as well. Okay, so now that I've got this set up, uh, oh, run. Can't live without the run. Okay, so, um, so let's go ahead and look at the other options here. Start button 8, control, blah, blah, blah. What should happen? All of this stuff is fine. I'll just leave all of this as the default for now, just to keep the video short and sweet. Um, so let's go ahead and if we close this out once we've done our configurations, notice down here in the lower left, I now have a start button again. If I click the start button, it pulls up what you are used to seeing in Windows 7. Um, and XP and Vista and all the other versions of Windows. If I hit the start key on my keyboard that I just did, it also brings this up. So it's kind of disabled the um, the uh, other Windows start, this guy right here. You can get back to that, just as I did. You can snap to the top right, you can go over to start. You can pull this up if that's what you want for whatever reason. But <clears throat> this gets you pretty much back into the regular um, regular world here so that you can launch things and do things in a much more comfortable way from what you're used to if you're on a desktop environment. Um, control panel, I mean, basically all the stuff is back and very much like normal. Again, this is a third-party application. This is not a Microsoft application, but things function pretty much as they did before. One of the um, things that people don't use very frequently that I'll just show you here really quick is the start search right here search for this existed from vista on and so many people don't use it and it makes me sad brings a tear to my eye because it's actually a very very useful feature um so i can just type the name of a program if i want such as word and i can take this word and drag it down here to pin it to this guy so this permanently stays here um 
but the start search thing. So I have a, a list of movies here and um, Lawless is one of them. Let's say I can't remember where I saved that document, but I remember the word Lawless was in there. If I type, it will not only search for the names of things, but you see it's saying inside of this file, the word Lawless exists. And so it's a quick way to find stuff. It's very fast and efficient. So the start eight gives you back normal control of your computer again. Um, so if you have Windows 8 and you're really hating the start button or the start menu like I do and like so many people do, this is a great way to get around that. So hopefully this helps you out. And uh, if you have any questions, um, you can email me or give me a call. My name is Nick Ellis, PC Computer Guy, locally here in Indianapolis, 317-883-7224. Website www.pccomputerguy.com, facebook.com slash pccomputerguy. Plenty of different ways to get a hold of me. And um, until next time.